Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. On the ETH chart, the situation hasn't changed. Yeah, it's pretty, um, pretty much just sideways oriented, but I think it could be a decisive week. I think it could be an important week because um, the price is sort of hovering very, very near, very near the first resistance, the wave two corrective rally resistance, basically. A break above 3,141 will open the door to a either more substantial B wave with resistance up here between 3,368 and 3,766 or already the yellow more bullish breakout count. However, that is a very speculative wave count and clearly the momentum isn't as strong as it should be really to support this because we haven't broken above resistance. You know, it's just sort of been dancing very close to the previous lows and I would really like to see for example in a C wave like that in the yellow count an impulse it's not really impulsive so let's talk about the scenarios here I'm skeptical about the immediate breakdown count Ether has been very reluctant to settle further and the orange support zone here is holding and providing some support. That's the larger degree Fibonacci support zone between $2,670 and $2,900 basically. Okay, and that zone is currently holding and the price has absolutely not done anything to break it. At the same time, the upside momentum isn't really very strong and therefore the only real, let's say, breakout count or upside, yeah, upside bullish count that I see that could really lead to a sustainable and substantial increase is that yellow count, which is obviously, as I said, a diagonal. These cannot be trusted typically, and we need some more, and we need some more really, well, strong upside. We need a bit of a breakout there, especially above 3,141. And yeah, it just needs to prove itself, the yellow count. And basically in the with these diagonals, you could say that the bullish hopes, they just rest on this kind of unreliable diagonal pattern. It's not invalid, absolutely not. And the nearest micro support I could offer is in the third wave, the 78.6 retracement. Is it reliable? No, but it's currently the best micro support I have. It is between 2,970 and I will take the 38.2 FIP out. Just want to show you the relevant levels. Uh, that shouldn't be broken because then this would be like a B wave pullback in wave three. Very speculative because what I don't like is a diagonal in a diagonal. Yeah, that's typically not great, but it's obviously possible. Now, it could also be if we break above 3141 that we're dealing with a higher B wave. I'm starting to lean towards one of these options um, just because the price, while it is still holding resistance, it hasn't really broken out. Uh, well, it hasn't been rejected, I mean, yeah. And it also hasn't broken out. So it keeps all options on the table at the moment. Let's see how the US stock market opens, you know, and, and basically what, what the momentum is that comes in, some volatility. But you can, again, clearly see that the resistance levels are being respected and are relevant. It's just that we haven't seen a five wave move down since um, the price touched the 78.6 retracement that generally keeps the door open for higher prices. Three wave pullbacks generally do keep the door open for higher prices. So essentially we still need to wait a little bit. Um, as long as we're holding 2,970, the yellow count is plausible. Below that red line at 2,925, the yellow count will become far less likely. And then the lower red line even further that will actually formally invalidate the yellow count as it is. And I think at the moment, all eyes need to be on that 3,141 level. Above that, we've got next resistance at 3,225. And then there is some Fibonacci confluence in addition to structural resistance around 3,350. So that should be strong resistance. Overall, this price hasn't done much for the last month or so. That's my update about Ethereum. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.